Hey, it's Timo here and welcome to the weekly productivity video tip. Uh, the topic for this week is uh, a duplicate post. Uh, it's basically a plugin which uh, enables you to write and create your blog posts uh, much, much faster. Um, now, I'm going to include the download link for this plugin on the show notes. But uh, I just wanted to give you a very uh, quick demonstration of uh, what this uh, plugin is and, and what it does. So what's happening basically is that, uh, as you may know, that uh, I'm actually publishing a weekly productivity video tip uh, on, on uh, every Friday. And what is basically happening here is that um, for uh, every uh, video that I'm actually publishing, I, uh, I'll have to create a, a blog post. So if we take a look at this previous video tip that I have uh, published, uh, so you can see that uh, uh, it has a certain type of structure. It has the heading over here, and then we have this uh, image, uh, thumbnail image for the blog post, a quick introduction text, uh, the video uh, in the middle, uh, the show notes part, and then uh, we have the uh, your next tasks uh, section as well. So <clears throat> what a duplicate post uh, does for you, and actually when you have installed uh, the plugin for your WordPress blog, is that you are going to see uh, when you uh, uh, hover over your headline, so you are going to see uh, this uh, duplicate link uh, over here. Uh, so when you click this link, and I'm going to demonstrate this uh, right now. So when you click it, it is going to take uh, just a couple of seconds or depending, of course, of, of, of your connection speed. But anyway, what it what it, it's doing is that it is actually copying the previous post or the one that you uh, wanted to duplicate and creates it as, as a new blog post. So what I could do right now is that uh, I could start modifying this uh, blog post and uh, I could start uh, writing uh, for the new new header and, and uh, the updated content for this um, new blog post that I'm writing. So it basically saves you the hassle of, uh, for example, in my case, uh, I don't have to uh, insert manually the thumbnail image for the for the blog post and uh, as you can see that since this is an, an exact, exact duplicate of, of the previous blog post so the structure of the post is already here and all I have to do is to update this uh, uh, these different sections which, which are of course different uh, on each and every uh, recurring uh, blog post. But anyway, uh, this is a very uh, simple and, and uh, effective way of creating recurring blog posts. And uh, uh, as I said, I'm going to include a download link for this blog post on the show notes. But um, anyway, if you have a recurring blog post which is using, which is using the same, same structure uh, uh, each and every time, so this... Uh, a duplicate post plugin is a very handy way of of uh, actually creating those recurring uh, blog posts. But yeah, I, I truly hope that you found this uh, tip valuable and please share it on Twitter and on Facebook and on Google Plus and on different social bookmarking sites. And uh, I will talk to you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>